Our panel, Cognitive Rehab, Designing Past Self-Delusion, is about the intersection of cognitive psychology and design. We'll talk about how every designed object is the result of decision-making. Thousands of decisions. Decisions about strategy, design, user experience, content, structure, code. And when you make those decisions, you assume that you're basing them on facts and logic and the things you learned in school. But as I say in all of my lectures, you're really terrible at explaining yourself to yourself, but you're unaware of the depth and breadth of your faults in this regard. And you're, you're always under the influence of irrational reasoning, and yet you feel the opposite is true. You maintain an unrealistic, undeserved confidence in your own mind. And that's what I love to write about. It's really fun. And since science has not only quantified this stuff and categorized it, there's a lot to draw from. You've probably heard of things like confirmation bias and hindsight bias, but there's so much more from survivorship bias to uh, the um, Texas sharpshooter fallacy to the Benjamin Franklin effect. The study of how the mind can fail from situation to situation, how we are irrational and delusional is my bread and butter, and I love talking about it. There are lots of places where the cognitive psychology of self-delusion and the field of design intersect. First, we need to understand self-deception as we research the motivations and needs of our users. But more importantly, we need to be able to understand our own opinions and decisions. You see, it's one thing when negative cognitive patterns sabotage our own individual decisions, but they can be disastrous when we allow them to derail business decisions that affect entire organizations. When we fail to recognize these negative patterns, as we make those decisions, we risk baking our own preconceived notions, our own biases and flawed logic into the products we create. So this panel seeks to expose these patterns. Uh, it will talk about how all that affects the products that you create, how you can recognize these patterns, and how you can cure yourself of an addiction to your own self-delusions. My name is John Romano. I'm a user experience designer, author, teacher, and speaker. I'm passionate about finding and exploring other fields of study that have interesting points of intersection with the field of design. Hey there, my name is David McRaney. I wrote the books, You Are Not So Smart, You Are Now Less Dumb, and I uh, keep up the website, You Are Not So Smart, and I do a podcast every, every other week that's hosted at Boing Boing about these same topics where I interview experts on those topics, and I do lectures around the world about all this stuff. So it's basically my life now, and I love talking about it. Thanks a lot. We're looking forward to seeing you in Austin at South by Southwest 2015.